so good afternoon to all of you so today our institute is going to host the ipr awareness program under the flagship of kalam program of intellectual property literacy and awareness campaign which is popularly known as kapila supported by ministry of education innovation cell and ai city in this regard i welcome the chief speaker of the program sri dhiran patnaik examiner of patents and designs patent office kolkata after bachelor's from ct bhubneswar sri dhiran patnaik has completed his masters in bioinformatics from university of delhi in the year 2015 subsequently he joined iit bombay cricket lab as a project scientist and thereafter he worked as project fellow at jason university in max planck institute germany in 2016 he joined government of india and having 6 uh, years of experience as the examiner of patents and designs in ministry of commerce and industry government of india we are thankful to sri dhiran patnaik for accepting our invitation and for giving us your precious time sir we are also thankful to the ministry of education innovation cell and ai city for providing us the opportunity to conduct such kind of event so we welcome sir now the session is over to you thank you sir uh, uh thank you very much for your warm introduction and uh, i think my voice is uh, loud and clear if exactly. you like yeah so so i uh, once again i welcome all of you uh, to this one hour webinar uh, uh, on national intellectual uh, like uh, on the on the uh, basics of intellectual property and uh, how it, it is going to be very much beneficial in your academic career and uh, before just start this program, i just want to have a uh, give a uh, like brief introduction about nipam and uh, aict kapila so national intellectual property awareness mission sorti abbreviated as nipam uh, so that is uh, uh, a formulated by our dpiit that means the ministry of commerce and industry so our aim is to reach 10 million uh, students or faculty members in the field of academia to increase the awareness of ip among the, uh, the academicians or in the students before uh, this 75th years of independence that is known as azadi ka amrit mahotsav so so be, uh, without wasting much time let's get it started and uh, just before that i have two request that the first request is uh, let's be interactive that mean uh, to be very frank i am from barampur and i am from odisha and first of all and second i am from barampur so let's be frank and uh, 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 please make this session a little bit interactive rather than a formal one and the second uh, my request is if you have any kind of doubt that uh, in between that presentation if you won't get anything so please stop at me at that time or you can raise the hands or you can ask your questions i can look at the chat box so so that it it will be easy for you to get the uh, flow so i think it's okay all of you thank you so much yeah so uh, background of intellectual property so so whenever the term you hear that what is intellectual property normally we feel it is a jargon like when uh, sometimes we feel it's a very a very difficult word to get it because intellectual property rights uh, most of us don't get exactly what is intellectual property right so make it uh, so i just want to uh, make uh, uh, in a very layman language that mean it is it in a very simplified term so whenever i don't something that when i don't understand something i usually break it in some phrases like intellectual property right is a phrase and it consists of three words the first word is intellectual and the second word is property and the third word third word is right so there are three words so first let's talk about what is property because we all know what property is property is normally two types whenever we usually uh, think of property we usually think of tangible properties uh, that mean uh, Uh, move uh, like a car or a building or a bus or something something like uh, ornaments or something so these things we we consider as a property like physical properties but there are some things there are some properties that we cannot touch and feel that is known as intangible properties and those form of properties are known as intellectual properties 
So again, I'll repeat. So property, whenever we hear property, genuinely we think of physical properties. That means either a car or either a motorcycle or any kind of physical property you think of it, like uh, a gold ornaments or your flat or your house, your building or something. So these kind of properties are are known as tangible properties or physical properties. Either it is a movable or immovable, that doesn't matter. But these properties are known as tangible properties. But there are some kind of properties which is normally beyond the imagination of a general uh, people or general public. So that properties are known as uh, that that is a tan intangible properties that we cannot touch and feel, and that properties are known as intellectual properties. So again, we know what properties. Now the term is intellectual. So what is the term meaning of intellectual? So it's also a very uh, like genuine English word. Intellectual mean so that is coming from your human intellect. So whichever intellectual is a like adjective. So whatever is coming from a human intellect is known as intellectual property. So if I combine this uh, word like intellectual property, so we all know what property is, and we all know what intellectual is. So intellectual property is a property that means an intangible property that means we cannot touch and feel that arises from human intellect. That is that is arises from human mind. But it is a product of mind, a human creation. So when the brain is get involved, the property that is created is known as intellectual property. So if you see the slide here, I, I uh, like I have added that the re when the resource is combined with labor, we generally uh, we generally we create property. But when the brain is involved here, we generally create an uh, intellectual property. So now, so far we have cleared about intellectual property. So we know what is property. Now we have cleared about what is intellectual property. So again, I repeat, property is we all know that means. But intellectual property is that some kind of or some part of that property which is created by a human intellect or human brain, and uh, or uh, that means the creation of a human mind. And the rights we get on that property is known as intellectual property right. So let me ask you a simple question: That whenever you buy any car, or whenever you buy any house, any kind of physical property you buy or you own, so you want to own that property, right? So whenever you buy a new car, or whenever you buy a new motorcycle, or whenever you purchase a new flat or any land, so you go to nearby registration office and get it registered on your name. So if I ask why you want to get it registered in your name, so you will simply say that, sir, I want to claim the ownership on that. Because I want to take the ownership on that. So exactly in the similar fashion, the the ownership you are taking on your physical property in the similar fashion, you can take the ownership of your intellectual property, and that ownership is known as intellectual property right. So whenever you register your intellectual property, the rights conferred on you is known as intellectual property right. So I think it is clear that what is intellectual property right. Again, so what is the importance and significance of intellectual property right? So why we will take the right? So there is a very simple question you can ask, sir. I know that because when I register a bike, it will I I can get the ownership on that bike. Whenever I register a house, I can get the ownership on that house. So why I will register an intellectual property? What is the benefit of that? So if if that type of uh, doubt arises in your mind, so this slide is for you. That means importance and significance of protecting or registering your intellectual property. So it's so whatever I'm telling you in whatever I'm going to tell you in the next 45 minutes. Don't feel that it's a out of the or out of the box topic. It's a very similar topic. Please correlate with your day-to-day -day life, and you will easily get it. In the exactly similar way, how you register your physical property, and what are the benefits of getting uh, register your physical property? The same benefits you can get when you register your intellectual property. So so far I have cleared that what is intellectual property and what is intellectual property rights. It's very simple. Intellectual property means the property that is created from your human mind or human creation. For say example, you are very good at writing something or you are very good at dancing. You are very good at uh, writing some poetry. So these are some kind of property that is created from your human intellect. So that type of property when you register it on your name to claim the ownership on. that so that type of registration is known as intellectual property rights so what is the importance and significance of the intellectual property rights so whenever you register your physical property you get claim you get, get the ownership on that and someone is suppose suppose for an example you brought a new branded car and uh, and you get it registered on your name and yesterday uh, and tomorrow uh, something uh, for an example tomorrow it may happen that someone is trying to steal your car 
or someone is trying to uh, like snatch your car so what happened you will go to the nearby police station and complain that yeah they, see these are my documents and uh, that property is uh, on the name of me and uh, someone is trying to snatch uh, that property so it's illegal then police will take action but if you won't give any certificate or if you won't give any type of proof of registration that police cannot do anything in the exactly similar fashion whenever you protect your intellectual property or whenever you register your intellectual property it has some uh, specific significance so what is the significance that means it's a protection so no one uh, uh, so it is protected your intellectual property is protected exclude others that means no one without your permission can use your intellectual property so if you buy a flat and if it is registered on your name can i can i uh, uh, like go and go to your flat and can i say that i will stay here so you will so simply say no so because this this belongs to you without my permission so you cannot stay here exactly similar way when you register your intellectual property on your name without uh, taking permission from that owner or your own you no one can no one the other person no other person can use your intellectual property so that is mean is exclude others and the third point here is utilize commercialize and all that means you can utilize your intellectual property as your uh, like as your own wish commercialize it or earn available rupees that mean uh, available uh, available money from your intellectual property so how we can uh, uh, do this uh, we will uh, uh, gradually know from the rest of the slides so how a common person or a business person can be can get benefited from this intellectual property right and registration the first thing is pride so whenever you own any kind of physical property you say it in a very pridey manner so i own a car or i own a uh, like a flat so it's it's a matter of pride exactly the same way i am again repeatedly telling you whenever you combine or whenever you relate your day to day life with this kind of uh, with this presentation or with today's presentation you will easily get it what exactly intellectual property right is so so some kind of pride is there of course you if you say that i have two patents on my name or i have like uh, copyrights on my name or trademarks on my name it's really a pride so it's a social thing and the academics like uh, now the new education policy has been rolled out and uh, the nrf ranking also uh, uh, giving the uh, like uh, uh, weightage to this patents or this ip right so it's academically it will uh, 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 much more beneficial for colleges and for individual purpose like for professors and assistant professors uh, so we, if they have some kind of ip rights on their name so their promotions are also it is very easy to get uh, get promote get promotions for that so it's it's a kind of pride in academic that is very clear in commercialization it's also a normal topic so whenever you have some kind of uh, intellectual property on your name you can easily commercialize it that means you can easily uh, lend it to any uh, uh, manufacturer that they can give the royalty to you uh, uh, for the commercialized purpose i will give the example of books that mean any book you can read chetan bhagat's famous books all the books are uh, uh, so whoever is uh, purchasing the books the royalty goes to chetan bhagat so it's 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 known as commercialization the brand value we all know that the some uh, that uh, whenever whenever uh, intellectual property is registered on your name it is associated with some kind of brand value and the third the last point is earn and invest to earn and invest that is the most powerful thing here because the intellectual properties are not all about pride and academics i will uh, show you in the last slide of this presentation how you can how a single institute known as uh, i think uh, in trivandrum based uh, institute medical science institute they are they are earning a valuable foreign exchange from a single patent so how it will work i will show you in the uh, last slide so okay so we so far we have covered about intellectual property and uh, intellectual property rights and what is the importance significance of the intellectual property rights so now we will cover so what are the different types of intellectual property so uh, so why these types of uh, different types of ips are there and if you broadly divide ip what are the different types of ip so first one is patent second one is design third one is trademark fourth one is geographical indication fifth one is copyright and the uh, sixth one is semiconductor integrated circuit layout design so uh, the seventh one is also there but i haven't included here because it is not so much important to you uh, so that one is plant variety protection right and act so that is not so much important here that's why i excluded here to make it very simple i have just added six types of ip so if someone will ask so what are the different types of ip or what are the different types of intellectual property right 
so you can say that if we broadly divide intellectual property there are six to seven types of intellectual property rights are there the first one is patent the second one is design the third one is trademark the fourth one is geographical indication the fifth one is copyright and the sixth one is SICLD, that means semiconductor integrated circuit and layout design. So, uh, so there must be a question in your mind, sir. Okay, we we got what is intellectual property and we got what is intellectual property rights, and we also uh, really got what, what are the different types of IP are there. But why there are so many uh, types of IP? So it is it's a bit confusing. Why not there is a single type of IP? So actually, whenever I used to make presentation in colleges like you, so normally people make confused about. Uh, so some people ask, sir, what is the design pattern? So there is no such word like design patent. Either it is a patent or it is a design. So I will make it clear here that is intellectual property is a superset. You can say it is a bigger set. That means it's a superset. Or you can say it's a mother set. Patent, design, trademark, copyright, geographical indication, SICLD. These, type, these uh, things are the different aspects of IP. So that means these are the subset of that superset. So again, if someone will ask, that means IP is a superset. That means broadly, IP, IP is a broader term. That means it's an intellectual property. Patent is a one part of intellectual property. That is a what aspects of intellectual property. So it is a subset of that bigger set IP. Again, uh, similarly, design is a small part of that intellectual property. That means it's a bigger set. Design is a subset of that uh, IP is a bigger set. So patent, design, trademark, copyright, GI, or uh, SICL. These all are the subset of the bigger set that is intellectual property. So now there must be a question, sir, why there are so many types of IP? So why there is not a single IP? Why there are so many types of IP? If I correlate again this phenomena to your day-to-day -day life, I will ask a question. Why there are two types of registration office in our, uh, uh, in our state or in our country? In one registration office, we can register our vehicle and one registration office, we can register our flight. Why not it is a single one? Can you purchase a brand new Kia, motors, uh, Kia car or you can can you get it registered in an urban housing uh, registration office no no because whenever you you buy any car or four wheeler or any two wheeler you have to go to the nearby rto office that means regional transport office to get it registered again exactly in the similar fashion if you buy any kind of house property or flat or any kind of land you have to go to nearby flat registration office or the land registration office or sub register office to make it registered or to get it registered so these two type of registration office is different exactly in the similar way ip is the bigger set ip that means intellectual property and you get you should get it registered so patent is one aspect of ip design is one aspect of ip copyright is one aspect of ip trademark is different is one aspect of ip gi and sicl is one aspect of ip so so if you want to put uh, get a patent that means you have to register your ip in a patent office so exactly in the similar fashion each ip is granted for a specific purpose and time period when uh, the, uh, the purpose of RTO, original transport office, is to, make, to get the registration of your vehicle, not your flat. Exactly. Patent is for scientific invention. If you have anything done invention, if you have anything done in inventive manner, you can get a patent for that. Design is for look and feel. That means if you anything aesthetically, you can design it or it, any shape or any configuration. That means I am holding a glass here. So this glass has have a different kind of design. So I cannot patent it, I can design it, I can protect it on a design protection. Copyright, that means it's a literary work. That means if you if you wrote any kind of very good uh, poetry or if you wrote anything uh, or you can say a story or you can wrote anything that means scholastic or literary work, that is protected under copyright protection. That cannot be get patent for that. Trademark, that means it's a logo in that. Niche, you have a different kind of logo. That means niche logo I used to see. Uh, since my childhood that NIST is a very famous scholar and that logo is protected by the trademark that cannot be get patented so i request you do, do not confuse among these different kinds of ip so ip is the bigger set i repeat and patent design copyright trademark geographical indication SICT are the subset of that ip so analogous to the teeth of our mouth each teeth has its own purpose. So why I wrote this here is because we have 32 teeth that we know and, uh, and the purpose of teeth is to chew a product or to chew our food. But each teeth has different kind of activity or different kind of purpose in our house. Like some teeth are known as canine teeth and some teeth are like some, I don't know the medical terms exactly, but the, every teeth has some own, its own purpose. So exactly in the similar way, 
patent design copyright trademark these are different kinds of ip and each ip has some specific way so in the next 45 minutes we will cover up uh, each different kinds of ip that means each of ip and patent is the most significant part of all the ip so it will uh, I, I think it will take around 80 percent of our time to understand the patent then we will cover about design copyright trademark geographical indication SICD in the next 10 to 15 minutes so it is very easy to get it and the patent is the most difficult one to get it and i really hope that you will get uh, everything because uh, uh, in a first glimpse or in a first time to understand patent is not a uh, uh, easy thing so really it takes time so don't worry but i will try my best to explain you how the patenting system works and what exactly the patent is so again if i repeat so far we have covered about intellectual property intellectual property rights what are the importance and significance of the intellectual property that is ip and how many types of ip are there so first i first form of ip and the most significant form of ip is patent so what exactly is a patent so if I, I if i read the slide you will not get it anything because uh, it's really a bounce word for you so the things i marked here in red is much more important so uh, if i if, if if you allow me to explain in a layman language so what exactly a patent is that me patent is a mutual deal i consider it is a mutual deal so what is, so mutual deal that means so you are giving me something and i will give you something so it's a kind of mutual deal so the patent i i i explain i i consider patent is a mutual deal and in that deal one part is we that mean government of india and other uh, another part is you that mean your college or your inventor or your scientist or your professors so patent is a mutual deal between you and me or uh, one side is government of india or uh, here it is written is a uh, an invention for a limited period of time in exchange for disclosing it in a patent specification such that anyone having every skill in the art can reproduce the invention don't read the definition here just forget about the slide just remember what i am saying so patent is a mutual deal in that deal what happens it's again a mutual deal that means one part is you and the second part is government of india that means in uh, in in one side we are sitting here and other side you are sitting here in that mutual deal what you are showing to us that means you are disclosing your information to us that means you are disclosing whatever research you have done whatever invention you have come up with so you are disclosing an information and in lieu of that we are giving you the protection that means okay you will disclose me or uh, disclose us the information we will read all the information and if we feel your information is good and correct or if your information is abided with the law we will give you a protection for 20 years and in those 20 years no one no other person without your permission can make use exercise when your product so this is the mutual deal again i'll repeat patent is a mutual deal in what happens in that deal so one part is government of india and another part is you that means the patent holder in that deal what happens the patent holder is disclosing information that means disclosing the invention to the government of india and government of india after reading the information after reading the disclosure if it is okay with the law if it is uh, appropriate or if it is going okay with the law we are giving you the grant for 20 years that means we are giving you the monopoly right to you for the 20 years period of time and in those 20 years time no one without your permission can use exercise and vent or import your product that means we are in short we are giving you the assurance so we are here don't worry no one can use or, uh, use your product or no one can make your product or no one can import or no one can vend your product without your permission so we will assure you that and in lieu of that you are giving us the information or you are disclosing us the information that's why i, I call it patent is a mutual deal so if i go by the definition here so patent is granted by a sovereign or state that means government of india again i tell you i am telling you so patent is a mutual deal so in that deal one part is a government of india so patent is granted by a sovereign or state to a person that means either you or inventor or an east to a person giving exclusive right so we are giving exclusive right to stop others that means what kind of right it is so we are giving you a monopoly right to stop others making using exercising vending and importing so an invention for a limited period of time 
So I am saying you patent is granted for an invention. In the previous slide, I made it clear patent is for scientific invention. So if I again read here, an invention for a limited period of time. So that limited period is how much? It's a 20 years period of time. In exchange for disclosing it in a patent specification, what I have told you that in a mutual deal, you are giving us the you, you are showing us the information that all you have and we are giving you that exclusive right or you can say the monopoly right for the 20 years period of time so it's known as a patent so right to exclude others from using your invention and once again okay right to exclude others from using your invention owner has a qualified right to use the invention so it is all very clear so it is nothing to i think uh, uh, it's not uh, uh, something that you can get it so so that no, without your permission no one can use your invention so that is what the patent is so again in the again i'll repeat then i'll move to the next slide so patent is a mutual deal if, if someone will ask what the patent is you can make him understand in that way but if you write if you have to write a question in your answer sheet in your exam that what patent is don't do that you just have to read the definition here but i am not believing in reading the slides and making you understand the definition so if someone will ask what patent is so you can ask surely tell him that patent is a kind of mutual deal and in that deal we are giving the information we are giving the disclosure to the government of india or to the government authority or to the patent office and patent office is giving us the exclusive right for the period of 20 years that in that 20 years period no one without our permission can use our product or can exercise or can vend or can import our product without our permission so this is all about what patent is so here i i just used to give the famous example here so this is uh, one famous example of patent that uh, we all found uh, like a fond of cricket matches and uh, uh, just i think when i when i was a child and when i used to cricket matches this uh, I think this LED stumps are not there. So, so this I have introduced. I think it has introduced in uh, five, six years back, and I can exactly can't remember. I think or ten years back. So, what happened? So, the title of the invention is system for indicating movement of an article from one position or orientation to another position or orientation. I think this is an Australian patent, and how this patent works here is uh, so. Whenever the position of an orientation, whenever the position or orientation of a of your article or the system changes so it will blink so led light will blink so it is a kind of invention and it really helps a lot uh, while detecting uh, if the ball uh, goes to the stars or not or something like that so that's why this is a patent and this is a granted patent of australian patent i have given the example here this is an invention so that's why it is granted a patent here so again if i talk about uh, recently we all um, uh, grasp with this COVID wave and we all know about this Bharat Biotech's COVID co-vaccine and Covid of this Oxford AstraZeneca. These both vaccines are has been patented vaccines and uh, uh, I think this uh, uh, the, the holder of this patent is COVID, for the Covid it's Oxford and for the co-vaccine it's Bharat Biotech. So I have given the examples of patents here so there are so many types of uh, patents are there. So again I'll repeat patent is for scientific invention. If it is not an invention, you should not go for a patent. So what is the importance of patents? Provides incentives and recognition to individuals for their creation. So for an example, what happens? Like in the COVID, everything has been started in, the, in lockdown. We have created a fund, like we, we did fun in our houses. Uh, we, we like everyone is having the Pani Puri and they posted that videos or photos in Facebook. So we used to have fun in that co-vaccine. But some people, some researchers, or the, some scientists in Oxford or somewhere else, or in Bharat Biotech, uh, uh, like uh, research labs, they are they are doing uh, day and night. They are doing research and they are inventing something because they are putting their lots of effort. They are putting their money. They are putting their time. And in lieu of that, we are not giving anything to them. So what will happen? So for the next time, they won't do that. Is it true or false? So if happen, like for an example, if you wrote one poetry. And if you if you are very good at writing poetry, and if you wrote one poetry, and what happened? So yesterday night you wrote one poetry, and uh, tomorrow what happened? Uh, or today I will go to your home, I will snatch that poetry, or I will I will just uh, copy that poetry and I'll publish it my name. So is it okay for you? It's not okay because the credits are lost because you have uh, you have put so much of efforts to write the poetry, but I will uh, copy that, but because I have copied that, so it's not good. So exactly in the similar fashion, if 
someone is researching that means if we cannot incentivize the researcher us we cannot incentivize the professors so it's not going through and it will not okay for the society that's why the patenting system exists and that's why the importance of the patent is provides incentives and recognition to individuals for their creations that means if the uh, the creator of that vaccines that means that is the savior that is the game changer for all of us because we all took that covid vaccine doses dose one or dose two or precaution dose or anything so if we not incentivize those uh, uh, researchers that we have come up with this vaccines for the source in the next time they will not do anything because if, if we are not recognizing if we are not giving incentives they will not do for it's a common human mind that's why uh, the patenting system exists and we are uh, this is the this is the only way that we can incentivize and we can recognize them for their creations or for their inventions incentives incentives encourage innovation to better human life that's also true and that i have explained it encourages research that aids technological development it's also true enables investors to recoup their investment for money and time spent that mean so suppose for me for an example i will give you the vaccines or i will give you the examples of pharma industry that mean to develop a single drug of uh, r&d companies they used to spend some billion amount of money or some 10 to 15 years of time period but if the patenting system will not work if the uh, if, if some someone will copy after spending billions and after spending 10 to 15 years time the, if they if they come up with a drug and if the drug is marketed if the patenting system will not be there the market, the drug can be co easily copied by any other competitors and that is easily available for one to two rupees so the all the efforts they have made or the uh, what they have did is that will be lost so that's why the importance of patents is much more here i think these four points are enough to uh, uh, make you understand what is the importance of a patent the contribution in nrs ranking also so i have given the examples here for your academic uh, benefit that research and professional practice score and comprises of four parameters out of which weight is of ipr and patent published and granted ipr is 15 percent i don't know much about this i think you people are much more knowledgeable than me regarding this nis ranking and how this ip is going to be beneficial for all of you okay so now let's talk about searching for so we all know what patent is what is the importance of a patent and how we can search for a patent so now we will uh, look how we, we can search for a patent to search for a patent we have two th two uh, that's it's a free method and it, in in a, in a very free way we can search it in a two ways so the first one is google patent and the second one is impact so what exactly is google patent i will show you i think you can see the slide uh, uh, google chrome uh, uh, window here can anyone confirm that uh, you can see the chrome window, right mm -hmm. So slide is not visible, sir. Okay, slide is not, but but you can see the Chrome window, right? Can you see the Google patent? Is it okay? Uh, no, sir. It's not uh, visible. Okay, let me do that. I think. If you please do like share your uh, share entire screen. Yeah, yeah. I am just searching how share to share do screen. that. Actually, my uh, office staff they have set up this, and I think they have talked to you before that. I just came now, full screen. No. Okay, so uh, just so be, uh, below there are some options are there mic, video, and all these things. Fifth option is present now. Present now, yeah. Uh, now click on it, then your enter screen. Enter screen, yeah. Now is it okay? Just a minute. Yeah, it is visible. Yeah, now it is visible. Yeah. Okay, Please. thank you. Thank you very much for this one. So, Google Patent. So, you can see the Google Patent here, right? 
Okay, so this is the Google Patent link. Uh, so just type in your Google, just Google Patent, just like Google Scholar. You can type Google Patent, and whatever you search here, that means suppose uh, for an example, just say me anything just you want to search that any field. So for an example, I will search here that uh, uh, gene editing. For an example, if I search gene editing here. That means whatever research is going on in the field of gene editing and whatever patents has been filed or published or granted, that is not filed, if it is published or granted or refused, it will come over here. So you can easily search the patent for uh, that. So what is the benefit of this search is that means if you want to uh, file a patent for that and before that you have to you have to uh, do a very minimal search. That means whether whatever I am researching because every researcher feels that my research is super. It's also okay. I'm not saying that your research is not super, but it may happen that someone is doing uh, that research or an advanced form of research. So if you file a patent, you may get uh, like your money may be lost. So that's why. We encourage to give uh, to have a basic search. That means you will get the idea in that whole in the whole world what the research is going on. So if I put the word gene editing here, that means is easily I can get so whatever the let's see optimized CRISPR Cas19 system Cas9 system and method of gene editing the stem cell. So I can easily if I am a uh, really a researcher in the gene editing, I can easily get that. So this kind of research is going on. And if I click over here, I will show you that uh, how. I think the net is a bit slow here. Okay, uh, so this is the patent. So the, you can see this is Japanese patent. I really uh, refreshed it. Sorry. Okay, so this is the Japanese patent here, and you can see this is the inventor. It's it shows in a Japanese language. So how this is how a patent specification looks like. It's similar to your research publication or research article. I think you are very acquainted in your research articles and research publication. This is the classification system, uh, and this is the title of the uh, patent specification. And it is applic application is filed by a Japanese. Uh, uh, patent application and it is the priority is in US priority and, and this application is published on that in 13 6 2019 and this application is granted that means this patent is granted and patent is granted for the 20 years period of time so see the beauty here the application filed on the date is 6 5 2016 and the patent is granted for the period of 20 years I have said so here I am um, uh, making it a highlight. So this is the application date, and for the 20 years period, if you consider, this is the anticipated expiry date. That means, so 6 5 2016, 20 years of period, 6 5 2036. So after 6 5 2036, this patent will expire. So once the patent will expire, it will come on to, it will uh, like come up to the public knowledge, and anyone can use or anyone can copy your product. So for that 20 years period, you cannot, uh, someone without your permission cannot use that. So this is the beauty of a patent uh, system. So this is the, these are the claims and these are the description. So patent specification is very exhaustive. Everything is here, just like your research publication. And I must add here, that means a patent specification is a techno legal document. Your research publication is a purely technical document. And this is a techno legal document. So, so you say, sir, you said it's a techno legal document. So, what is the legal part here? Because we all uh, we can see it's a legal, technical paper. The legal part here is it's a claim. I will explain what is the legality here and why how you can draft your claims. I think if I explain all this, it will take around three to four hours, and it is uh, very uh, exhaustive. So, so this is the patent specification I just want to show you. So there is another form of uh, search. So this is the free search that we known as the Google Patents. It's a free database and it's a repository of top five IP companies. Just like Google Scholar, Google Patent is also free. And another, our in-house database is there from IP India, that means our government, that is known as InPass. Just type oh, uh, in Google InPass Patent, you will be redirected to a link. That means ipindia.gov.in. This is our official website. I will show you. So this is our official website. You just type here ipindia. Ipindia. You will uh, sorry.
this is our official website here uh, office of the controller general patent and trademarks so this is the ip india data so here you can go to the public search column here this is the public search here in public search you can uh, click over here in the patents you will redirect it to an external website uh, this is in pass that means indian patent advanced search system so this is the this is our in-house database and whatever patent is being filed in india or being published or being granted you can see here uh, there are so many search fields are there when you can type uh, the complete specification or the abstract or the college name i think i don't know whether NIST has any kind of uh, uh, patent or not in the name of NIST. i will search once again here Next, search you can put your capture here so this is how you can search so there are so many uh, fields are there by putting uh, your query you can search i think okay i think zero document that means in the name of NIST, no uh, uh, patent has been filed so i will give you example of like anything any uh, like uh, uh, any in any field if you want to uh, search in the field of computer science you can uh, type any kind of uh, word you want to search here patent number also patent application number anything so again i will type here uh either for an example i'm just taking the example either i'll type or i can uh, type in id or iit or something whatever you want see so these are different kinds of application that has been filed by indian institute of science and educational research so if i click over here this is the application number this is the application date application date its status is published and the application you can you can see everything so this is open database and nothing is hide uh, is to hide from you so this is the title of that application and the publication number is this this is the publication date that means recently it has been published 10 days ago and the application number is that uh, application filing date is 16 6 2021 and this is the in the field of electronics see here and uh, these are the inventor name and i think it is uh, indian list of science and educational research kolkata so one of the applicant is Iser kolkata and with the association of indian list of technology iit madras they file that application and this is the complete specification everything you can see here if you put uh, if you click over this view application status you can check everything see the application is filed request of examination also filed it has been published but it is an under examination so if it is after examination it will show greener and then it will be disposed and if you click over the view documents here you can get all the documents that have been filed with this patent specification. See, form one, form two, provisional documents, everything is here. So just, just get back to our slide. So this is how you can search for a patent specification or if searching for a patent. So for, why we will search for a patent? To get the basic understanding that what kind of research that is going around us in the field of our, our field of interest. So this is how, why, why we should search for a patent specification or we should search for a patent. So in a free manner, so there are some paid databases uh, also there, but uh, in, in a simpler term, we can search in uh, via Google patent or we can search it by impasse. So application, applicant name OUAT, I just gave the example here, OUAT. So if you put OUAT here, Odisha University of Agriculture Technology that is situated in Bhubaneswar. If you put the name OUAT in the name of in the applicant name status, just I put uh, Iser. Uh, in the same way, if you put the OUAT, so there are so many uh, patents are there that is being filed by OUAT or that are being published uh, uh, by the OUAT. It you can so uh, see all that uh, like uh, uh, for, uh, like the patent specification. So now, now we will talk. Want to file a patent application in India? What to do? What form should I fill? And how much is the fee? So. So now it's everything clear about what is a patent and why we should file a patent and what are the basic uh, search status search to get a patent that means that that is clear so now there must be a question that why and how we will file a patent application so so, so far we have cleared everything now please say us that how we can file a patent specification and what are the forms and what are the fees we require because these fees are the vital things so to file a patent application you need five forms remember the first form is form 1, form 2, form 3, 
form 5 and form 18. These five forms are mandatory five forms that you need to file to get a patent application. And uh, with, uh, for these five forms, form 1 and form 18 are chargeable. That means fees need to be paid. And form 2, 3, 5 are free forms. So what, what does form 1 and form 2, form 3, form 5, form 18 stands for? So the form 1 is details of the application. Or, or the applicant so it's like a bibliographic data i will show you again that uh, what is what exactly is a form uh, one so this is the application of uh, isa if i go here the, just see i think you can clearly see the uh, like uh, window right screen yes yes it is visible yeah. okay so if you click over the form one here just see i say that form form one is all about the uh, bibliographic uh, like information so form one contains everything it's like a uh, your your uh, like address book so it's a indian institute of technology madras the applicant name indian institute of science and educational research so these four both are the applicant here the address book here that is the address so it's a natural person or anything that is small entity or startup or others that means not a small entity not a startup so others mean that's the educational institute that's why they take it in others inventor so who is the inventor here you can see Basudev Roy, Soumya Dutta, these are the inventors name. So everything, all the bibliographic information that is that is written in the form one. So form one is like your address book. So everything you need, so just see every all the inventors has been signed here. So this is what form one's work is uh, form one works for. So the professor Ravindra Keto is the register, I think. Okay, whoever. So this is all about a form one. So if I go back again, so what is the form two? So form two is like details of the invention. That means form two is similar like your research article. So in your research article, first you put your title of the invention, then your abstract, then the introduction, then the brief uh, description of everything, how, then the results and discussion, then the references. The exactly form two is like your research article or research publication. It contains every technical detail information of the invention. So form one is it's all bibliographic information. Form two is it's a detail of the invention. That means title, background of the invention, drawings, brief description, claims, abstract drawings, everything that consists of form two. Again, I'll repeat your your technical information. And in addition to that, here there is a word you can mark here that is known as claims. So claims are important here. So that's why the claim that that is the only thing that made, uh, this is the only thing that made uh, your patent specification is a techno legal document. Otherwise, it's a pure technical document, just like your research paper or your research article. Form three that means the details of foreign filing or similar invention. That means we are asking whether you have filed any application in any foreign country. So you have to give the details or if you have to give the uh, like everything uh, in, the, in the details in the form three. And form 5, it's a declaration of inventorship. That means who is the inventor, you have to declare in the form 5. Form 5. And form 18, that is the request of examination. That means after filing everything, so form 1, it's a bibliographic information. Form 2 is the detail of your invention, all the technical data along with claims. Form 3, it's the detail of the foreign filing. Form 5, declaration of the inventorship. That means we want to know who is the inventor. And the form 18, that means request of examination. That means without request of examination, it's known as RQ. So without request of examination, your application will not be examined by patent office. If you see here in the ISER application, they have filed form 18. So where, where, where is the form 18 here? See, this is a form 18, form 18A, that means expedite examination. I think it is taking time to load. Anyway, see. This is the form 18, the patent request for expedite examination, as I have said. So form 18 is the request of examination. That means without filing form 18, your application will not be examined. It's a very simple thing. Okay, so let's uh, move to the next slide about the fees. So as I have said, that form 1 and form 18, these two forms are, are paid and other forms are free. So the form one is 1600 rupees for educational institutes and for the niche it's 1600 rupees and for form 18 is 4000 rupees and for other companies or for other natural entities like for bigger companies or bigger pharma companies or anything like the form fees uh, the form one is 8000 and form 18 is 20000 rupees so for them the patent cost is 28000 and for educational institutes like you 
the cost of a filing of a single patent is 5600 rupees and in the kapila program or under the kapila scheme you can reimburse this 5600 up to 10 patents that means in a single academic year you can reimburse 56000 rupees at max or 10 uh, the cost of a filing of a 10 patent so this this is this 5600 is the basic fee that means 1600 rupees is for form 1 and form 18 that is 4000 rupees and form 2 is free no fees up to 30 pages or 10 claims and 10 claims if the claim goes beyond 10 or if the specification goes beyond 30 then that is chargeable so for a basic patent you need to file uh, you need to pay 5600 rupees which is also reimbursed can be reimbursed so what is the filing process so so far we have covered about what is patent how to file a patent how to do a search a basic search about patenting and what are the forms needed and what are the fees we have to pay for a filing of a patent so now how can we file a patent application so there are two forms there are two ways that how we can file a patent application the first way is filing a hard copy that we all know that because uh, hard copy is very easy we have to take a print out of everything and we will arrange it then we will give it to the nearby patent office so it is jurisdiction wise uh, and i think NIST is in Barampur and Barampur is coming under Kolkata jurisdiction so you have to file a patent application in Kolkata office only and for online filing there is a e-conferencing filing portal is there and that is also available in IP India website i will show you how you just go here See, uh, this is the IP India uh, website. Comprehensive e filing is there. Just click over here and e filing of patents. If you uh, click, you will redirect it to a uh, link. So you can file, you can just clear, put your username or you can create your own account. You can file a patent application. Gradually, it will guide. How you can file a patent application via online you just need a digital signature certificate also that is also easy to get and you can file a patent application by e-conferencing filing portal so i have said you about uh, how to file a patent application what are the forms required and how what is the fee you need to pay so now there is a term known as expedite examination and why that is important to you because we have it, it has been introduced in 2016 and I have shown you that ISAR application recently that uh, they have filed expedite examination. So the RQ filing form is form 18, but when it is written as 18A, that means expedite examination. So what happened in expedite examination now? Earlier, before that, what people used to think that patent is a very litigated work, and I think uh, to get a patent, it, it requires around 10 to 15 years, or sometimes it's more than that, or uh, minimum seven to eight years so we will not go for a patent because it is a litigated one to uh, but, but nowadays the scenario has been completely changed uh, there is a provision of all expedite examination is there and in that expedite examination mode within one year you can get a patent and there are so many examples are there uh, that from educational institute they have filed a patent and within one year they got that patent so that expedite examination is not open for everyone this is open to only for startups and small entities if applicant is a female or department of government uh, or any other government establishment that means all educational institutes are coming under this uh, uh, expedite examination mode and india is an isa ip i think it is not required to you in the agreement between indian patent office and foreign patent office so just forget about last two points but uh, there is a concept of expedite examination is there so within that expedite examination you will get a patent it may happen that it will get a patent within one year that means maximum within one to two year you will get a grant or refuse that whatever it's a super fast uh, fast forwarding to the, like just like tatkal ticket system so provisional specification so there is a concept of provisional specification uh, forget about that we will talk about patent data then we will talk about what is a provisional specification so what is a patent data 80 percent of available technical information is published in patent I mean again i said that patent is a purely a technical document so just like your research publication patent specification consists of all your technical data in addition to that it consists of claims so now there must be a question in your mind so since long you are saying claims and claims and claims repeatedly so what exactly the claim is see patent is a legal uh, like it's a techno legal document so whenever the legal part is here we are having some legality over that 
because uh, because we have to govern for 20 years period of time so, so there are some legal value of your patent uh, specification so what exactly the claim here is if i want to uh, make you understand in a very layman language for an example you go to a nearby vegetable shop you go to a nearby uh, like market suppose in the evening you are very hungry and you go to a nearby shop so you got five apples and you brought five apples and you just uh, brought five apples and come to your home so your mom asked that uh, are you hungry or you want to eat some apple you said that no i am not hungry i don't want to eat apple you just say it modestly and your mom will not give you any apple so that's a simple thing that means you are not claiming anything but but you have purchased five apples that doesn't matter but you haven't claimed anything so whenever you speak up that yes i am hungry and i want four apples or i i want two apples so whatever apple you want if you say to say it to your mom then you can get served with the apple because because if you don't speak anything that nobody will going to help you in the exactly similar way in the patent specification you write all these things you wrote all these things that's fine all the technical information is that but if you if you don't claim anything that means whatever is not claimed is disclaimed that means if you don't claim anything nobody is going to look at you that okay 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 i am going to give you that and i am going to give you that in exactly in the apple apple example because if you don't say that i am hungry and i want two apple your mom will not give you two apple or one apple or something so she, she simply think that okay you are not hungry so i will keep the apple in freeze or something like that so exactly in the similar way you wrote everything in your patent specification after all you want to claim that i want this much of protection on that so so you have to claim that for an example in a pharmaceutical field you have done a research or you have done a research to come up with, and you come up with an invention and if you come up with a vaccine and after all you have to claim that i want to claim i want a protection on that product or on that salt or on that polymorph so how exactly the claim is i will show you the example see this is the complete specification and at the end of the complete specification you will claim see again i will show you this is the title of the invention or oh, this is the electronics field field effect transistors and method of development thereof so i think some electronics people if you are listening to me you will get that point and it's a indian institute of technology again everything is here it's just like your research article this is the title of the invention this is the field of the invention the present invention relates to fabrication of semiconductor devices more specific more specifically the present invention relates to the fabrication of the field effect transistor the fet this is the field of fet and this is the background of the invention this is the objects of the invention everything summary of the invention every technical information is there so so far this is only a technical paper this is just like a research paper at the end of the paper here we see this is a we claim that means they are claiming something so what they are claiming here a method of fabrication of a field effect transistor so comprising so and so so and so so these things they are claiming so they are claiming the method of uh, manufacturing simply the method of fabrication so if they don't claim anything we are not uh, giving a patent for that because what the claim is the most important part of the patent specification so if you are not claiming anything we are not going to give you patent for anything that was the claim was the most important part and the whole the legal value is revolving around this claim set if you see any other patents there is a more important part here is the claim i have showed you the example of this japanese patent also in the first place in the google patent in that patent also there is a claim set is there i will show the example because this claim is the most important part here okay it is taking some time to load okay uh okay a patent is a structured techno legal document and contains all technical information i have made it very clear that is a patent specification is a structured techno legal document no doubt on that structured techno legal document that means first is it's a techno legal document that means the legal part is added here and the legal part is known as claim and it's a structured that means you cannot just uh, simply write it the first uh, thing should be background of the invention that means it's a structured one by one you have to write in a very structured manner the third one is publishing of a patent is needed which can impact patenting process around the world that means in, in the patenting system it is uh, that the whole world is connected with each other that means if some research is done in india 
that means if the research is being published that means in anywhere in the us cannot get a patent for that because it is already published in india so the, so whatever that is published in any part of the world or anywhere in the world that can be your prior art or that can be your prior data so you cannot get a patent for that if someone in the any part of the world they have already done the research that you want to do so it's a simply that means it's a connected world so understanding the patent application what to look at a patent application i think we we'll, we will not we should not go to very detail in that uh, way because it will get you people are get bored and also you will not understand everything about this patenting system it's not easy to get in a very one hour uh, time period patenting system it is really difficult so again i will repeat parts of the form to that mean a technical specification that mean the abstract claims background summary and complete specification so the five forms are required form 1 form 2 form 3 form 5 and form 18 form 1 is chargeable that is 1600 rupees and form 18 that is 4000 rupees and for a complete specification you need abstract claims background summary and complete specification abstract we all know that background we all know summary and complete specification also we all know that because we used to write technical papers that is uh, i think you people know better than me and the claims is important here that is adding that legal value here and the claims i am repeatedly showing you that is claim that mean you want to claim it's just a simple english word see this is the patent application here optimize crispr cas system cas9 system and method for generating the stem cells so they have written everything this is the description they have written everything in the in the last thing they claim so they, they these are 13 claims are there and what they claim is an in vitro method for producing modified cells for transplantation so this is what they are claiming so without this claim set this is i think this is a translated from japanese language so without this claim set this patent application is like uh, it's not been gone gone through so it's it's not complete so again uh, let's come back to the topic so claim is the most important part here and that is adding the legal value to your patent application so patent office journal so patent office journal mean uh, so whatever the patent is uh, application is being filed in the patent office so in every friday we used to publish a patent office journal and in that journal whatever the application is being filed you will get all the details of that application in the patent office journal and every friday uh, irrespective of it's a holiday or something we we, we used to publish the patent office journal and it looks like that again if you if you go back to the uh, ip india website you can uh, go uh, click over the journal here and it's a patent journal trademark trademark journal and geographical indication journal is there this is how patent office journal looks like uh, uh, for uh, top applicants from educational institutes indian institute of technology collectively it's a only a data so i think it's not required for all of you so it's a indian institute of technology collectively they filed for 664 patent application it's a last year data a lovely professional university you know that's a private university from punjab and delhi uh, they have filed around 442 uh, patents chandigarh university so these are uh, the uh, data that uh, the education institute and the number of patents they have been filed here so let's uh, so i think the patent part is over and let's talk about design here so so i think the most significant part of this uh, today's presentation is over and in the in the next design trademark geographical indication and all these things we will cover in the next 15 minutes and i think it is very easy to get all these things so what is a design so design protection mean anything that is a different shape or configuration uh, or whether it is a two dimensional or three dimensional that doesn't matter anything that is a different shape or configuration that is coming under design protection that mean anything if you have any different type of design so or different different type of configuration or shape you can protect under design protection it is very easy to get a design protection here i i have give the example of this so many water bottles are there so every water bottle has some kind of different design and that can be protected under design protection so see uh, see this is a table lamp here and this is a inhaler here and this is a, uh, i think uh, uh, alarm clock is there and toy is there this wall paintings are there so all are under design uh, protection trademark so trademark mean anything that is any word symbol or device thereof that identifies and distinguishes the source of the goods or services from one trader from those of others that mean trademark is something that we all know about because nist 
uh, for an example whenever the word trademark comes to your mind just correlate with you uh, it with your logo that means trademark means it's a logo trademark is the synonym of a logo not synonym i just want to make you understand in a layman language that's why i'm saying trademark means it's a logo or any kind of symbol see so mcdonald it's a trademark coca cola it's a trademark google adidas nike columbia picture nokri.com or pepsi or bis everything that means i think these two people have gave, just gave us an invitation letter and that invitation letter there is a nest logo i can see so that uh, nest logo is a trademark of nest so that is the trademark registration of the nest so uh, what is the importance of uh, in, uh, function and importance of a trademark that means it provides exclusive monopoly over a class of goods and services allows a business entity to build public goodwill and brand reputation identifies the source origin of goods and services assures customer about the quality of goods and services i think this all are self explanatory points we all know about the benefits of trademark that mean we all know when we hear the word m or when we see the word m or when we see the uh, tick symbol or when we see the adidas logo we all know that it it, it is associated with some kind of repute or it is associated with some kind of brand value we is in day to day life we easily uh, say that oh it's adidas too it should be nice so that is there is a brand value associated with it so so trademark that mean including service mark trademarks collective mark certification marks tagline and slogans tagline and slogans you know ye dil mange wo that is a tag slogan and that is also a trademark that mean it's coming under pepsi logo safe and sound marks also there and uh, a good trademark must be inherent or acquired uh, it should not be acquired and honestly should be ad adopted and not similar or already existing one that means you are doing some trademark registration that is deceptively similar to something that means it's not going to or that's not good so that means a good trademark should be let me distinguish it should be clear so this the there is a peculiar thing about trademark is that means the trademark that means without unregistering also you can use your trademark so when the application is pending or when it is uh, it is not registered and it is due for pending you can use your trademark but it is you can write it as a tm but when the when the trademark is got registered in trademark registry you can uh, write the name r so whenever you used to eat some biscuits or something like you know the peculiar thing is that a britannia logo is not trademark so it is they are writing it as a tm so so whenever the trademark is not registered the trademark is such an intellectual property that without registering you can use it but when the trademark is not registered you can use tm but when the trademark is registered you can use r there is a simple uh, thing here how to protect your trademark that means trademark registration is optional how the registration is set in advantage registration available at the national regional international level as i have said that trademark registration is optional however registration has some certain advantages so you must ask a question that sir you are saying that trademark registration is optional you without registering also you can use your trademark so why we will go for registering it's a common question that means whenever you are registering it so registration has certain advantages so what kind a kind of advantages it has that mean it attracts legal value that mean legal penalty if someone is using your trademark without your permission you can file a case against him if your trademark is registered but if it is not registered you simply cannot do anything but without registering your trademark you can use your trademark so that is legally fine that is not a crime but if someone is uh, copying your trademark that means you cannot uh, uh, take some legal action against him or her initially registered for 10 years the time period of registration so the time period of a patent is 20 years the time period of a design is 10 plus 5 that means 15 years and it is initially for 10 years but indefinitely you can renew it in the last slide we will cover up everything in case of non use non renewal and non policing trademark rights are lost obviously and the existing trademark registration is governed by the trademark act 1999 and the trademark rules 2017 so issue so let's talk about copyright so so far we have covered about patent first we have covered about intellectual property intellectual property rights importance and significance of the intellectual property and then patents then we covered up design then we covered uh, what is trademark then we will cover copyright so copyright is also a fun thing that mean we all know what is copyright is so copyright is something that we uh, that uh, whenever we are facing any kind of research paper 
so that research paper is automatically get copyright in our name so i think your professors whoever is listening to me or whoever listening uh, right now they have some kind of a research publication in your name and all that research article is copyright on your name so copyright is a bundle of right and it's a automatic right and it is given for and it is acquired for any kind of scholastic or literary work that means so what is the subject matter of copyright that means it's a literary work that means you wrote any kind of research article you wrote any kind of poet uh, book or anything a uh, story or any novel that is all coming under literary works artistic works that mean you are very good at painting and you like mf fushan mf fushan is a very uh, famous painter and all his paint uh, paintings are protected under this copyright uh, uh, protection and dramatic works that mean dance moves all the you know some people are very good at doing salsa or this ballet dance kind of things in our from our barampur there is a famous uh, prince dance group also there and the michael jackson famous moonwalking these all uh, this moonwalking steps are copyright protected and musical works sound recording works cinematographic films all the musical works all the cinemas all the movies all the sound recording works that is being copyrighted please make me uh, uh, just uh, remember it that all scholastics or all literary works that is all copyright protected without the permission of that author you cannot use that so there is a famous controversy created controversy i i, I really knowing i have added slide here uh, to make you a little bit fun here that means we all know that three idiot is a very famous movie and what happened in that movie is three idiot is really based upon a chetan bhagat's famous novel that is 5.01 and uh, uh, as i have said in the previous slide all the novels all the books that is being written by any author that is being copyrighted on his name so what uh, that the vidu vinod chopra and director rajkumar hirani did is they both made that movie without the permission of chetan bhagat and the movie got released after the when the movie got released uh, after when they hit the uh, movie halls chetan bhagat filed a case against this vidu vinod chopra and rajkumar hirani and uh, he he demanded some kind of compensation because without his permission they made that movie and they got it released so after that uh, the letter has been moved to court but they amicably settled that matter and the credit has been given to chetan bhagat after some day the credit has been given to chetan bhagat even they have gave some kind of compensation money i don't know but in proofs they have given to chetan bhagat and also they have promised that they will make another movie in his novel and we know that two states is a uh, next movie that that is based upon chetan bhagat's novel so this is some kind of things that you you should uh, you must know that uh, what is the controversy behind this kind of things and how uh, you will get benefited from this kind of ip rights so if the copyright protection is not there i think chetan bhagat could not have uh, get all this uh, benefits from his uh, work so again there is a example of that ar rahman is also so there is a song known as masakali that is sung by ar rahman and it is also written by ar rahman so we all know that tanish bakshi is a singer and is a budding singer he is a youtuber and he sang that song uh, without the permission of chetan bhagat but after all chetan bhagat just AR, sorry ar rahman without the permission of ar rahman but ar rahman didn't like that and he is furious about his uh, about tanish bakshi's act but he just slashed him and uh, the uh, the matter has been amicably settled so i mean to say here is what i my point here is that so if anything that is on your name in the first slide i have made it very clear that if the ip right is registered on your name if you are the owner that mean without your permission no one can use your ip right you can sue him easily so this is the beauty of this intellectual property system essentially this is i think this is the last or uh, name oh, again the geographical indication is there so sicld means semiconductor integrated circuit layout design this is also a normal thing that mean anything that is uh, it is very much important for electronics people we all know that we are going towards a digital era and everything we are cover up with this digital gadgets and whatever the semiconductor integrated uh, this uh, 8086 microprocessor or microcontrollers are there this pin diagrams are there this all are protected under this sicld registry and sicld is a registry that is registered in delhi and whatever you are developing and whatever you are inventing or whatever you are doing in the field of electronics 
in the field of layout design that is protected under this SICLD. So SICLD is an important IPR for protection of products with fast changing technologies such as electronic gadgets, computer, and etc. The registration of layout design is for the period of 10 years from the date of uh, application filing or the first commercial exploitation. The semiconductor integrated circuit layout design SICLD registries in Delhi and where the application of layout design of integrated circuits are filed of registration of created IP. So SICL is that, that means it's simply, if you if something is there in your mind, in the name of SICL, that should be a layout design of integrated circuit or uh, what is the layout design of an integrated circuit? That means a pin diagram kind of thing. And the last leg, we have arrived, what is geographical indication? So geographical indication is an indication that identifies a product that have a specific geographic origin and possesses qualities or a reputation that are due to that origin. That means if you again read the definition, you will easily get it what geographical indication stands for. That means a product that is coming from a particular geographical area and the product is special. That means it's known as that is possesses quality because of that area, not because of that product. That means for an example, dazzling tea. So tea, we used to know that tea is everywhere. We used to drink tea in whole part of the world. But the tea that is coming from Darjeeling, because of that origin, it has some specific qualities. That origin, that quality is known as geographical indication. That means indication from a particular geography. As the name suggests, it's a geographical indication. If I give the example here, that means it's a Darjeeling tea. So Makrana marble, marble is everywhere. We used to make house in the uh, with the help of marble. So marble, we all know that. But the marble that is coming from Makrana, that is some white and luxurious marble. So that marble is known as geography, GI product. That means Taj Mahal or the Victoria Memorial of Kolkata that is made up of that Makrana marble. Because mar marble that is coming from a place known as Makrana that is situated in Rajasthan, that is a specific qualities. And that is the GI product of Makrana. Similarly, Raklami Seb. So Bhaldiram's Bhujia. So we all, Bikaniri Bhujia also there. So we all know that save is everywhere. Bhujia also we can make in our house. But the, the save that the Bhujia that is coming from Bikaniri has some special qualities. Kanchipuram silk. From Barampur we have Barampuri silk side is Bomke Pato. I will give the example of Odia. Uh, Jia is the Pipli applique. So applique is everywhere. We can make applique in our home. But the applique that is coming from a Pipli, in a, near, in a small place near Puri, so that is very famous because we uh, that that is a some special kind of uh, like um, uh, different type of appeal eye appealing and things. So that's right. And Odisha rasgulla is also there. Uh, Sambalpuri sari, uh, Konak stone carving, Odisha patta chitra, and Ganjam kevda flower. We all know that kevda flower is very famous in Ganjam, and that is the GI product there because anywhere in the world, I think uh, there are few parts of the world where this kevda flower blooms and. One party is Ganjam. Really, we are lucky. Andaman Haldi is there. That means Haldi is everywhere. Again, I repeat, Haldi is everywhere. We can grow turmeric in, in our home also. But that Haldi that is coming from uh, Kandamal area or Kandamal region, because it has high curcumin content, because of that, it is a GI product. That means it's a geographical indication mark. And that ge 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 geographical indication mark is known as GI. That, that means it's a GI product. It's a bomke sari, dhala patra parda. It is all are the examples of different kinds of GI. So again, uh, so I think we have uh, uh, arrived at the last part of the uh, uh, like uh, presentation, and we will sum up here. That means the time period of the every IP right. So again, I'll repeat that IP is the bigger set, patent, design, trademark, GI, copyright. These are the different parts of that IP, and. Uh, for the, pay, the validity of a patent is 20 years. I have made it very clear. And there is nothing like global and international patent. The design is 10 plus 5 years. And uh, the trademarks, it's uh, indefinitely, uh, initially for 10 years. For the trademark in geographical indication, the registration is uh, 10 years, first of all. Uh, and for the first place, it's for 10 years. Then indefinitely, we can renew it. And for the copyright, the protection is lifetime of an author plus 60 years. That means if Chetan Bhagat, if the uh, a book is written by Chetan Bhagat, the protection of that book belongs to Chetan Bhagat and the time period is lifetime of an author, that means till how far the Chetan Bhagat's life, plus 60 years of period. I wish the Chetan Bhagat life so much, no issue.
and who uh, who can apply this pay ip rights that mean uh, who can apply uh, for this all ip uh, like intellectual property rights that mean anyone can apply that mean either a person or a legal representative of that person or any form or partnership or small entity or body or corporate anyone can apply except gi gi cannot be applied by a single person it can be applied by a group of people or government so without except gi any any uh, different ip rights can be applied by any person and all ip rights are territorial in nature that mean there is nothing like global patent if you if your patent is granted in india that mean it is valid only in indian territory if you want to take a patent in us you have to apply it for us patent office exactly similar thing for applicable for uh, for uh, europe and australia and any country in the world so there is nothing like global patent points to remember here is first protect them public this is uh, this is uh, vital for the academicians like you or the educational institute like you because you people are much more interested to publish research papers rather going for patenting system because uh, once the you, once you publish your research paper that mean it is coming under public domain it is really difficult to get a patent for after that so first protect then publish just file a provisional application it's only 1600 rupees then you can go for publishing so the concept of provisional application is to secure your priority date see the whole patenting system works whoever comes first it's a first come first serve basis so if you are coming to the first, suppose you and me both are working on a single invention and we are we are like a competitor and we both are working on a single invention and you come up with first you come up to us first that mean you are coming to us uh, today and uh, your competitor is coming to us in the day uh, on the uh, next day or some day after that so we are giving the priority to you that's why it's known as a priority date so so whoever is coming to us first is getting the priority so first protect then publish first file a patent application then publish rights are territorial in nature repeatedly i am telling there is nothing like global patent if you want to file a patent application in us or in australia or in up in any anywhere in the world you have to go to the uh, that respective office country office and you can file the patent office you have to go that means not you have to go physically you can file on online also but uh, there is nothing like global patent registration is done by sovereign authority that is government of india in the for, in the in the when i gave the example of patenting or the, what is the example when the definition of patent i made it clear that patent is a mutual deal and on the one side of deal is government of india that means no other person is, uh, except government of india that mean indian patent office we cannot give you the patent that mean patent registration is done by only sovereign authority that mean no any other entity no state government or no any other entity can give you patent for that rights for a limited period of time i think in the previous slide we have exp uh, explained or we have discussed what is the rights and what is the period of that rights so for patent it's 20 years period of time and for design it's 10 plus 5 GI and trademarks 10 indefinitely you can renew it and for the copyright is lifetime on offer plus 60 years and for the GI uh, we have already discussed and for the essential it's 10 years no automatic relief need to file an infringement lawsuit it means that if someone is violating your IP that means if without taking your permission if someone is using your IP right there is no such type of automatic relief that means so much of police will not do anything you have to file an infringement lawsuit then we will take action not we that uh, the respective authority will take action against that renewal fees to be paid for some ips that's of course every year you have to pay the renewal fees appointment of a patent agent is not compulsory applicant can sign the documents and file himself that means uh, uh, some people think that why i have added here that some people think that appointment of a patent agent is compulsory to file a patent it's not like that simply you can file your document you can sign your document and you can file a patent application on your own uh, i think uh, it's not for you and uh, which is all about uh, lastly i will give you the example of this in the first slide i have uh, i've said that so there is an institute known as Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute of Medical Science and Technology. It's a Trivandrum based institute and what they have done is, see, so they have done, so they have come up with a disposable blood bag system. So we know a blood bag system, whenever you used to go a blood bank or any nearby blood donation camp, so we used to keep blood and that blood is collected in a blood bag. So what they have invented is, they have invented a disposable blood bag system. 
that that means this blood bag system is disposable so after that they got a patent for that and uh, so they, they that patent is so popular that they made it uh, uh, so they gave the license to hindustan latex hindustan latex is actually a psu and the product is manufactured in a very large scale manner by the hindustan latex and widely used even they exported this product to us and uk like uh, rich countries and widely used in the countries and exported to several countries including uk and usa earning valuable foreign exchange that means they uh, like they exported this uh, product the product is so popular they simply it's a very simple invention you know so it's a disposable blood bag system they uh, first thing they did is they got a patent for that after mm-hmm. they uh, got a patent it is so popular and they get the license to hindustan latex because in a educational institute cannot uh, manufacture it large scale so they gave the license to hindustan mm-hmm. latex they manufactured it in a very large scale manner and they widely exported to any uk and usa mm-hmm. rich mm-hmm. countries like uk and usa like advanced countries so and they uh, that fetched them a valuable foreign exchange so this is all about i given i have given the example of how a patent works and how a ip uh, really ip ip will not give you only academic benefits it will give you much more money or much more uh, like kyunki paisa hi bolta hai har kisi ko paisa chahiye and i think you, by the benefits of ip by the registration of ip right you will get fame you will get money and you will get also recognition and everything so this is what my presentation is all about and uh, this is our uh, institute like training institute and if you want any further uh, training or anything kind of also because to be very frank i am really grateful to uh, have this presentation i don't know how aict nominated me for that because i think uh, my senior is also there uh, with all of you rati kant naik rati bhai is my senior in iit bombay i know him he is also here and uh, i'm really gra- uh, glad because i pre- i made this presentation before nis and if you have in future any kind of uh, physical training or any if you want to do any kind of physical workshop because for to understand this kind of topic you need to go physically because it is really get uh, very difficult to understand ip uh, in a in a one one hour webinar so this is all about my presentation and if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me or uh, i'll give you my mail id and ask yeah thank you mr patnak uh, for your nice presentation so now the session is open for a discussion anybody have any kind of question you can ask one or two questions we can take please okay uh, any question yeah, yeah. please yes sir, sir. sir let uh, someone has uh, designed some product uh, and uh, uh, let some other vendor vendor is uh, doing a small modification on that uh, is that uh, second vendor is eligible, uh, eligible uh, for that patent application uh, sir uh, see again i am saying you here that mean either you have to first decide whether it is a design or it's a patent patent is a different thing design is a different thing uh, here because for patent is granted for invention and design is granted for look and feel or any aesthetically or two dimensional modification of thing so you said that if it is patent if it is a patent so by simply modifying a patent you cannot get uh, uh, anything for that but for design the answer is yes if if you have a different type of design and if your competitor if any another vendor he has some he has done some modification on your design then he can use that different modified design no issue and he if uh, subject to that he registered that uh, his design in the uh, design registration office that is my answer uh, then sir the original design uh, will not get that benefit because uh, the modifier uh, will do a small change and uh, may get all the benefits okay uh, so 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 that's why we encourage in the part of design sir again you are not uh, clearing whether it is a patent or design for patenting is for design, design so for patenting is it's really difficult they will not get and for design I, we encourage that how that whatever you want to give the modification you just do the modification in file as many as design application you can because it is very easy to get the design application 
after design protection. 90% patent we are getting, uh, we are rejecting here. But as far as the design is concerned, we are giving the grant for design protection. We are not uh, bothering. So I think uh, it's on the benefit of that uh, vendor. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I request all the participants, please uh, check the message box and uh, please fill the form, attendance form to get your certificate. And uh, Mr. Patnak, I'm very excited to know that you are from Berampur. So we wish to see you in our college future so that uh, we can organize some physical kind of workshop and uh, you can give us some guidance regarding patent filing and all this thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again for giving us your precious time and finally um we are again thankful to the ministry of education invention cell and aict for providing us uh, the opportunity to conduct such kind of program uh, thank you very much to all of you so if you have any kind of questions uh, our mm -hmm. respected speakers mail id is given there you can contact him so thank you so much we are uh, ending our sessions here thank you to okay. all of you I have for your request, please feel the attendance yeah yeah so please fill the attendance set and yes, yes. Uh, i will say uh, one excel uh, please contact after this webinar please contact please have a mail please drop a mail i will say you one excel set and in that excel set you just fill all the attendee details then it is easy for us to generate certificate okay fine so for the last time, I'm just pasting the attendance link. Those who have not filled it, please fill the attendance. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you to all of you. Thank you so much.